The first COVID-19 case in the U.S. was reported in Washington State on January 20th, 2020. The first death came on February 29th of 2020. A year later, nearly 450,000 Americans have died from COVID-19. Right here in Georgia, the virus has taken the lives of over 11,000 people. But each one is obviously more than just a number. Sarah Hammond introduces us to one family hit hard by the virus. These are just some of the faces of people we've lost to COVID-19. Always had a smile on his face. You know, heaven's a brighter place. Each with their own family, career, and story. Roger was our everything. He's the best father I could really ask for. And Robin Markey is one of them. You know, we were just all a close family to start with, and you just never dream of losing your sister. Growing up, Tommy Sadler says his sister was the quietest of the four siblings. She stayed to herself reading a lot. She never got into trouble that me and my little brother and sister did. Sadler was in the hospital himself with COVID-19 over the summer. She was my biggest cheerleader. Ten days after he went home, his sister tested positive and was admitted to the hospital. She was fighting it. She, we just all assumed that she was going to be in the hospital for a while and, and be fine because she did, like I said, she didn't have the bad problems that that I had. In the beginning, she had pneumonia in one lung and low oxygen levels. And then all of a sudden her lung collapsed. Marky was put on a ventilator for three weeks. I mean, it was just a spiraling slope downhill from there. Sadler says she died soon after. You think you're ready to hear it? You think you've geared up for that kind of announcement, but you never really are. Sadler says with the growing death toll of the virus, he knows his family is not alone in that feeling. There are so many people that's got stories like me that have lost loved ones. Really, really, the ones that you love, tell them. Tell them every day because you never know when the day comes you can't tell them. He says his sister's absence was felt over the holidays, but his family is learning to live with the memories. In Macon, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Yeah, Tommy Sadler says his other sister, Wendy, was in the hospital fighting COVID-19 as well, but now she is back home and recovering.